The European Pioneer. A milestone for container ships. Shore power using renewable energy. The port of Hamburg was the first port in Europe to offer shoreside electricity for cruise ships and now also for container ships. That means container ships can now get their energy from renewable sources when docked instead of running the ship's engines. Uwe Radke is responsible for the HPA's electrical infrastructure. The shore power project for container ships is his pet project and a major technical challenge. With cruise ships, we have the cable management system on land. We have our R2-D2 transfer vehicle in Altena and it transfers the cables to the ship and the crew connects them. Here it's the other way round. Here the cable management system is on board and the cables come down to us and we connect them. That's the difference. At the Hamburg Container Terminal, the Vasco da Gama from the CMA CGM Group was the first container ship to be supplied with shore power. This was preceded by numerous tests with different systems and ships. The result is a real milestone. There's a lot of talk about climate neutrality in the shipping industry, but you have to create the right conditions for that, and shoreside power technology is an important part of European ports' climate protection strategy. We're the first to really put it into practice because the technology has been trialled in Hamburg for several years now. It needs testing because it's not easy to connect such large container or cruise ships to the shore power supply. By 2025, all large crews and container terminals in the port of Hamburg will have a shoreside power supply, a further step towards reducing CO2 emissions. We started the shore power project for large ships in 2015. It began with cruise shipping, which went well, and now it's the turn of container shipping. They've also been waiting a long time for this. Demand is growing all the time. Hamburg has now completed the first facilities and I think we were able to demonstrate this very effectively here today. And it's not just about putting a plug in, it's more complex than you might think. But the systems work and are very flexible for different ship sizes and lengths. Shipping companies, port and terminal operators are driving the decarbonization of the port industry together. The Federal Ministry for Economic Affairs and Climate Protection is contributing 50% of the costs. It's a milestone for climate protection because we're not using the ship's fossil fuels but renewable electricity instead. We're one of the first in Europe to have done this together at federal and state level. So progress, innovation, climate protection here at the Eurogate site. That makes Hamburg a European pioneer in shoreside power supply and Uwe Radke, a proud team player, always with an eye for technical detail. So we've built an energy chain into a system here that enables us to move a socket 100 meters back and forth. That's something special. The energy chain is equipped in such a way that it's filled with cables from two sides and can move back and forth so that the trolley in the center moves. And that's what we have here with a length of 100 meters, and at the other berths, 300 or 150 meters are possible, and at the CTA we can manage distances of up to 400 meters. Port is what we do.